good stuff. Second down and 12. Pass is intercepted. It's wide open. Going to take it the distance. The 30, the 20, the 10. In stride, and he's home for the touchdown. You gotta love a defense that's not afraid to take chances, and this defense will get after it. That time they get the interception and return it all the way for a touchdown. The Broncos back deep, ready to receive. Caldwell is not going to test the coverage this time as he takes a knee. The Broncos retaking the field with their offense in a game that hasn't been very pretty here of late. Turnovers by both teams on the last two possessions. Well, define the word pretty. I think if you ask the defensive teams, hey, they love this game. It's beautiful. So, so far, the takeaways by the defense, that's the story. Second and ten coming up. Green's usually a tight end, but he's in the backfield this time. A nice grab. No doubt he was going to hold on to that one. This will probably be the last play before the two-minute warning here in the final quarter. Snags it right out of the air with one hand. Just two minutes left in this one now. Back in a moment. Now on first down. Every snap crucial the rest Let's of the go. way. Staying with the passing game on first down. Looking across the middle. Pass hits the ground and goes incomplete on the short throw. Every play is huge now. Second down on the way. Second down and ten. Launches it down the field. Touchdown. This game is tight. What a throw by the quarterback for a touchdown. It was just really nice. He threw it beautifully right on target. Touchdown. The Panthers are prepared to return the kickoff. Webb's going to start his return. Just across the 20 and tackled at the 21. The Panthers offense back on the field trying to make up for that costly mistake. The last time they had the ball, the turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them. Yeah, it did, Jim, but you know what? It's not a perfect game. you got to deal with adversity when you're talking about football. So you made that mistake. Let it go. Go out there. Be aggressive and see if you can score some points. Marshall's there to take him down. The game is close. It's in the fourth quarter. You're winning. You're on the offensive side. You find out if you can really run the football in these situations. That time, short gain on the run. Second down and nine. Stewart's hand at the football. And Miller will cut down this outside run for a loss. On the way, third down. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Third and 12. Look at Derek Wolf with the sack. Late in the fourth, and the defense makes the biggest play of the game right there. Now they'll lean on an offense that has been firing on all cylinders all game long. Yeah, no reason to think that this offense is not going to keep, keep going out there and making it happen. The quarterback is hot. They're being aggressive with their play calls. This is a big series for the offense. Sanders has got it now. And tackled down at the 49-yard line. That returns good for about seven. The Broncos' offense still has a chance here, Phil. Late in the game, can they make something happen? Well, it's going to be interesting to see, Jim. I think let's look at it from the defensive side. Know the situation. 
if they get the ball, they catch a pass, make sure you come up and make the tackle. Don't let them catch and run and get a big play against you. Anderson's lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. Airing it out. What a catch. Touchdown. It's been an amazing game, and here in the final two minutes, the long touchdown pass has all but tied this game with the extra point to come. What a job by the offense. The offensive line was absolutely magnificent. Gave the quarterback the time. He gets the ball down the field, and they complete the touchdown pass. The point after try is in the books. What a game this has been. Tied up now in the waning moments of the fourth. Well, when he gets this late in the game, it's, it just comes down to do you have the courage to try to make the play or do you just hang in there and hope the other team makes a mistake? We'll find out. The Panthers come onto the field. The game now is in the hands of this offensive unit with the game tied, Phil. Jim, this is a situation now where you just don't come out here and just try to make it happen. The game is tied, and if it doesn't work, you figure, well, let's try to get into overtime. So be careful on these first couple plays and make sure you don't make a big mistake. The Panthers head to the line. They've got one timeout left here in the fourth quarter. Double tight end formation. First down at the 26. Launching it deep. He robs him of the interception. He turns around and defends the pass. Sometimes when you have a player with this kind of talent, you're willing to put up with a few drop passes because when he catches it, he has a chance of going all the way. The Panthers snap it at the 26. And it's caught by Stewart. Stewart's taken down at the 26. Well, the only thing I can say about that play was better than the incompletion. The quarterback gets the completion, and they pick up a yard or two. The Panthers will set up. The 36 is the first down line. The Panthers snap it up at the 26. And he will not score, and we're headed to overtime. Broncos getting ready to kick it away. Webb's running this one out. And they crash into him, ending the return at the 20-yard line. The Panthers are at the line of scrimmage with a pair of backs split behind the quarterback. First down at the 20. Stands in the pocket. It's intercepted! That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. The Broncos' offense looks unstoppable. Touchdown drives the last two times they've had it, and here they go again, Phil. Yeah, they've been very good, Jim. They're taking advantage of situations and scoring touchdowns, and we know that's what you must do. If you don't get these touchdowns, what happens later in the It always comes back to bite you. Failing to complete that one. So, second down here. Peyton Manning under center. The reception by Daniels. And Daniels is tackled down at the 50. This tight end is very talented. He's a good run blocker and also a good receiver. Makes a nice catch on that throw. Let's see how they back up the big play here. He's hit as he throws it. Coming to the line at the 50. Anderson's in the backfield. Single back set.
Second and ten. To Davis. Davis tackled right at the 42. Mark him down for another reception. Offense needs two yards here on third down after that pass play. The Broncos come out. Jumbo package on the field. They'll run it off the toss. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. Games in the NFL can hinge on third and short. Who could pick them up and who could stop them? How about that play that time by the defense? They stopped the third and short run, and now it's fourth down. Quarterback likes what he sees out there outside. He's changing the play with the wide receiver. Sanders taken down at the 33. That is how you draw it up, isn't it, Bill? Oh, man, a quarterback loves guys that can make catches like this, and they're just so strong. They know how to zero in. They never lose concentration, and you never see drop a pass. Thompson's the one who made the big stop. Coming to the line at the 37. Second down and a long way to go. Intercepted. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. Loss of five on the play. The Panthers offense back on the field as this game has turned into just a big mess, Bill, as no one seems to be able to hold on to the football. Nobody can hold on to the football. The play is sloppy. The, the, the calling of the plays has also been, I think, a little sloppy. Give these guys a better chance to make some positive plays. Panthers have it at the 44. And it's knocked down. The Broncos will come out in the dime. The Panthers have it at the 44. Wants to go deep. Incomplete. So many times when you drop a football in the NFL, a pass like that, it's because of lack of concentration. You're just not serious about what you're doing. Following that incompletion, it sets up third and ten. A near interception that time by Webster. Panthers put themselves in a situation where the defense has all the advantage. They know the pass probably has to go down the field on third and long, and they were ready for it. And no return here as they'll down it. The Broncos have to still be thinking about that last possession. They were actually moving down the field. And then, of course, the untimely interception ended things. Yeah, the defense, look, they got good players. And, you know, you give them enough chances, they're finally going to make the play. You have to be careful with the football. The offense was not, and that's why it resulted in an interception. What do you think they're talking about in that huddle after that drive-killing interception? They're, they're probably telling the quarterback, if you do that again, we're going to kick you out. I don't know, but he, they, they got to play better. Second down and ten. He'll throw it over the middle. Underneath and incomplete that time. Looking to avoid a safety here on third down. It's a two tight end formation. Third down and ten. Ball is out. And the final moment a fumble leading to victory. Just incredible. Well, this one, an overtime thriller and a game-winning touchdown in the extra session. That is exciting, Jim. The offense played terrific all day, and it's just a...